Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Let's see if I can decipher some sort of character analysis and sort of talk about the music a bit about the only thing I know for real. Now I understand that these themes are not about Raiden himself, but about the characters. And I actually don't know who this is about at all. Again, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, I, I've, I've been slowly working my way through it on the Xbox, so I have no idea what to expect. Let's try to look at these lyrics. Memories broken, the truth goes unspoken. I've even forgotten my name. This character has had some sort of transformation. This character no longer remembers who they were. Perhaps they were a good guy? Question mark. I don't know the season or what is the reason I'm standing here holding my blade. Has this person been forced into being like Raiden, becoming a cyborg? Because I, because I, in the first little bit that I've played, spoilers, and it's the two guys, the really big guy and then the guy that you fight into the underground and you get all jacked up. Did they make whoever this song is about? Uh, become a cyborg like them a desolate place without any trace it's the only cold wind i feel a desolate place without any trace is that where he has been trained is that where this kind of fight is happening in a very cold place it's me that i spite as i stand up and fight the only thing i know for real there will be bloodshed the man in the mirror nods his head it's like well i don't have a choice all i have now is what i am here right now and this man, regardless of who I was before, is ready to come face to face with you and fight. It's really intense too in the music because you've got the double bass drum. That intensity, it's unrelenting, right? And is this the final boss music actually, now that I'm thinking about it? Because to me, it's like, it's like really fat. It's like stab, you know what I mean? Like there's an intensity here that I think we would hear regardless. It's very forward momentum, obviously. Wait, is this the politician? Does the politician become the bad guy? It's hard, right? I don't want to be spoiled, but I kind of do just for the sake of this video. The music itself isn't menacing, right? It, it's not evil. It's not like, oh my God, what have I become? It's like, this is who I am now. You're going to fight me. And, and, and that comes across in, in the music itself. Let, let's keep going really quick before I, before I keep talking. This is a short song anyway. <laughs>
What's interesting to me about this is like looking downward from this deadly height and never realizing why I fight. I actually think that the electric guitar, in this case, there is this sort of duality where there's not understanding why things are happening the way they are, being upset that they have to maybe face Raiden. I think the electric guitar symbolizes like the resistance that they have because the mountains don't give back what they take. Oh no, there will be bloodshed. It's the only thing I've ever known. Mm, question. Losing my identity, wandering, have I gone insane? To find the truth in front of me, I must climb this mountain range. Looking downward from this deadly height and never realizing why I fight. Why have I been tasked with this mission to, to, to fight Raiden or, or whatever? There's two personalities here. There's the original personality, which is the electric guitar, and then there's this drum. And I think that's like the training. That's like the ingrained like mind game that has been played on this character to make them become whatever they've become, right? It's cool. And what's actually, you know, what's really interesting to me about this stuff is that it's actually like profoundly deep and really interesting that within this game where we're talking about psychological things we're talking about like war and and per usual with the metal gear metal gear series there's always this sort of tussle between politics and human conditioning and why we do things the way we do them and i think in this song we're really getting this sort of uh, psychology between what we are and what we've been tasked to do is there a way to bridge the gap between those two things and and really be true to ourselves and i think in this case this character obviously uh, can't do that. It's cool. I mean, that was a really short song, but it's sort of interesting how these lyrics uh, totally guide in painting a picture about what's actually occurring without me knowing what's what's occurring, obviously. So yeah, it's, it's awesome. That's fun. I mean, there's so many of these tracks and they're all pretty short. So I mean, I want to go through all of them eventually on this channel. And um, yeah, thanks a ton and I'll talk to you later. Bye.